Hey everybody, you're listening to the High Sessions Hawaii podcast where we talk about everything local and beyond. I'm John Yamasato, your host, and joining me today is Mr. Kyle Shimabukuro and Devin Nakova. How? In person this time. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. exactly. I hate week. Zoom. You know, I don't really mind it, to be honest. It's oh, so man. easy for me. I don't have to edit really, anything. Huh? Who are you talking to on Zoom? You guys, during the pandemic? Just at one time. Like, no, we, during the pandemic, we did Zoom a lot. Yeah, we I think we did a lot of Zoom, yeah. Because yeah. the camera's so close to your face. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Before like, we no, begin... You're sitting in your chair, like, this far away from the <laughs> camera. <laughs> We're like, true. Kyle, where are you looking? Yeah, uh, but I like to what? hide behind the microphone. Never Every have any time, microphone, uh, you know? Like, Kyle, look at the camera. Uh, well, well, well. <laughs> anyway... Before we begin, let me remind all of our listeners of the ways they can stay in touch with the podcast. There's Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at High Sessions. Or you can go to SoundCloud, YouTube, and Apple Podcasts. And you know what? I just made the decision. I'm not even going to bring up the email anymore. Really? The Nobody email is you? The email is dead. Give me your Aww. phone number so they can text you. My phone number is very easy. You can just Google my name and you'll find it. <laughs> that's, a, that's the way we're going <laughs> to give it away. Okay. If you'd like to help the show get more music <laughs> Please, on the channel. Please, call John. Please go to Patreon.com and donate. Uh, be more involved with the show. We don't have any new patrons this week. However, ever since we announced about the subscribers, we've been getting like a subscriber a day. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Oh, no way. Yeah. So we're, we're wait, up wait, on subscribers. How do we have no new... So these people join... Go, but this subscribing to oh, YouTube, the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel. Yeah, oh, YouTube okay, channel. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I kind of mixed those up. Yeah, <laughs> I so know, no, thank no, you no, for no that. Patrons, but, but we've been getting subscribers on the, on the podcast. Oh, so we got like YouTube. 10 now. Yeah. Yeah, five hundred ten. Five hundred ten. Yeah, so that's mo- that's not bad. And we have yeah. how many patrons? Uh, we have uh, over a hundred patrons. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and um, the and and really, I mean, they've really kept the show going because we, like <laughs> I said, we lost some sponsorships this year, but Thank we're get, you, getting patrons. some back. So get ready for some advertising. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's good it's good companies though so it's it's good it's good companies yeah as opposed to the ones well I mean that you know you, we don't when, when you get a as someone who's <laughs> running this uh, I would call this a small small business I guess I no. don't know. we're not really making money any but, money at all yeah right but yeah. we're not technically a nonprofit but you know you you have this temptation <laughs> we're nonprofit because we don't make any profit off yeah exactly yeah <laughs> but. Okay. You have this temptation is like you want to fund the show and then people do offer you some money sometimes and it's like maybe something you don't believe in or they they want to change the show. Like mm. we had a we had an alcohol company approach but us they once and, and they, the they were time. willing to offer us a lot of money, but they wanted like a big banner behind the artist oh. of the you know and stuff and it's like well you know, we we're trying to be artist focused and if there's a big like X yeah. brand yeah. Yeah. liquor behind it, yeah. it does takes away so you know, so you do have to go through those kind of struggles. So this is a these companies that are kind of we're working with are stuff like oh I, I go there and I use this product and I like this product and you know so like, cool yeah yeah like Ford Ruger like Ford Ruger Market yeah, yeah. or Kupu Kupu Landscaping yeah yeah or Kupu Kupu Landscaping and then dude uh, so we talked about this a little bit but um, Kevin's wife has that number five. Yeah. Uh, pastry yeah, man. Yeah. that was super good cool. <laughs> it was so good I yeah. ate so much I think I had diabetes afterwards <laughs> I had sore stomach because I ate so much yeah, I, I ate so I ate good, good man he gave us the the um, cinnamon ube. roll and then the ube, ube roll, roll right yeah, yeah. yeah. and the, ube one and the cookies unreal. and the yeah. chocolate chip cookie oh, I which, that too. which I apologize to my son that I did not give it to him but it was really good <laughs> <laughs> you ate all I don't two by yourself bad. no it's only two cookies I know, but he should have shared at least one with his wife. But I, I ate the whole cinnamon one. No, my wife one. doesn't eat that kind of stuff. Because it was so son, good. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, when he starts working, he can have a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, what <laughs> Sorry. Else anyway. You oh, and um, also, don't forget to uh, rate us on uh, Apple or SoundCloud or whatever you're watching us on. Um, please give us five stars. Um, if you don't want to give us five stars, then don't, don't worry about it. Pretend we never had this conversation. Yeah. Yeah, you can just just ignore <laughs> us. Okay, uh, you can find Devin uh, Kumu ninety four point seven Kyle at highlifeclothing dot com, which brings us to our guest, Mister Jody Kamisato Yay! of Ukulele Hale. Jody is a performer, artist, uh, and instructor, and I would say you do most instructing and then some perform, right? That's a that's a good assessment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. <laughs> 
I, I want to start off with just because I'm curious. How was that Disney cruise? Oh, it was amazing. So, uh, yeah. yeah, so maybe explain what you just embarked on with uh, Honoka and uh, Maya, right? Yep. So we went as Heart and Soul and we were able to have this contract with Disney. Um, and so we jumped on Disney Cruise Lines. Okay. Um, and they you know, came from Anchorage to Hawaii and we do the Hawaii portion. Oh. So we jump on and we oh. do all the islands. Oh, nice. Oh. But here's the thing. Okay. It was Monday through Friday. Monday, Tuesday, we, we had to perform. We were off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Oh. And so that was just like heaven. How I mean, was the water, though, on the cruise going from island to island? It, it wasn't too sick. bad. No, I didn't. Um, actually, it was worse coming off board. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I had yeah. sea legs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, you're sitting there looking at people <laughs> going like this. <laughs> <laughs> came back from back the cruise. Cruise. I came like, over. brush my teeth list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was on dry land. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> just hold the brush. Yeah, look at Just hold the brush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, time, yeah, you can feel that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it was at least a day. So I, I um, yeah, got back, played pickleball that, that night. Oh, oh, kept yeah, missing no. the ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Blaming on the, the sea legs. <laughs> But it was awesome. It was an awesome experience because we got to actually create our own show. And they have this Disney, oh, nice. Walt Disney Theater on, on board. Yeah, okay. yeah. And it's massive. Theater. I mean, it looks like Hawaii Theater. Yep. Wow. So oh, you have the really? lighting. Yeah, you it's have stage huge, crew. Seats like 1,000 people. Yeah, it's massive. And, and, and so we had to create our own show. And, and you know, uh, from dialogue to, to, to staging to lighting. How, how long of a show? It was 45 minutes. Wow. So, okay, that's not too bad. Two 45-minute shows. That's too bad. Um, and then and then we had one uh, adult show. I mean, so. It's <laughs> <laughs> not right, dude. <laughs> what do you do? You play <laughs> shirt? <laughs> How does that work? Why are you playing at me? I was an adult <laughs> show. <laughs> I was like, wow. PG, guys. Uh, this is adult show, but PG. Come see Jody shirtless tonight on our adult oh, show. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> But it was in a lounge for, for adults. Oh, okay. oh I see. Yeah. I see. So the, the, there are, there the are adult is, areas on the Disney cruise yeah. ship. And then they have like a family show, you know. Uh, so. right. I forget that uh, these two have never been on a Disney cruise. No. Like, I've oh, been yeah. on the Disney cruise. Oh, you, so oh you've know, been on yeah, Okay. So yeah. I know what it's like. It's awesome. It's yeah. amazing. It's so wait, you, city. you boarded here though. You didn't go to Anchorage and no. take them. So thank God. I, I mean, they flew us to Hilo and then we jumped on board. Okay. And then we did Maui, Kauai, and then we ended up on Honolulu. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. But it's all you can eat. Yep. I mean, you know how that goes. I mean, no, no matter how full I was, and then there's that soft serve ice cream. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty four hours, bro. Yeah. I mean, nonstop. It's, it's bad. It's I'm bad. Still trying to work it off. And the good thing too is because you're, um, what do they call it? You're a main artist. Uh, they give you a room. Yeah. And there's no bunks. Yeah, yeah there's no bunks because sometimes if you're if you're one of the staff members Ooh, that's doing yeah. stuff, yeah, they. Uh, no, awesome. even some of the perform the performers usually get a little bit better. They they get a step up as far as their accommodations and stuff, and they let you kind of walk around and hang out and be you, which is yeah. nice. Yeah. So we. Were, and it's Disney, so yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, to work with Disney, it's, it's amazing. And yeah. some of their, their producers and directors. And so somebody approached you guys? or So, um, so previously, my group, Heart and Soul, uh, was, um, we, we used to perform in, in Disney Alani's Starlet Hui show. Hmm. And so that was kind of our first introduction oh, to okay. Disney. And that was such a great platform because it really connected us to, to Disney and, and yeah. even ESPN and to, to you know, all their connections. Um, so that was really good, good uh, opportunity and experience and, and this is our third cruise. So, wow! So, I thought so they were gonna have you do the like do the performances and then maybe you know teach a class or something. Cause mm. It's I mean it's it's right in your wheelhouse. That. Yeah. yeah, that would so have been fun. Maybe that's something else. They'll they'll pay you more hey, yeah. to go and do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not just performing, but yeah, because yeah. a, a class in ukulele I think would be great for someone. That would be true. Yeah, you yeah. can just go on the deck and just teach. Yeah. Private lessons or public lessons with ukuleles. I mean, that would be a great introduction. I feel, yeah, that would be fun. Because yeah. you're literally, I mean, they're, they're, when it's a five day sail from Anchorage to Hawaii, they're, they're on there for five days. Yeah. Yeah. But when they're doing the islands, they can actually jump off and experience the island, right? Yeah. yeah. But I think that would be great to, to do that five day sail and to do lessons like. I'm daily. surprised yeah. it's only five days. Yeah. It's pretty quick. Yeah. 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 They're moving, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a big and it's a big ship. People Jeez. don't realize how people think it's the Disney ships and the Disney ships are uh, a, a little less. Um, they're less known 
than mm-hmm. probably like a Royal Caribbean, like the one that we were on yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But the ships are getting bigger, mm-hmm. um, and the families are all there. So I don't yeah. know, but Alaska to Hawaii sounds like a rough. Yeah, I don't it's know. a long, it's a long trek, but oh, and, and there's no casino, bro. So what? Yeah, yeah Disney well, doesn't casino. I'll be sick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Guaranteed. Gonna gamble. Well, I've never been on a cruise because I, I get seasick. But one time, Herb and I played on a boat called the World, mm-hmm. and it was one of these like it just is constantly going around the world, and oh. Oh. You, you, you're for, you're a rich guy, you can buy a unit in there, and you just kind of hop on and hop off whenever oh, you want. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like a city on a boat. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's like yeah. it's got its own mall. Mm-hmm. It had its own, yeah, like theater and stuff. Mm-hmm. And yeah. we just, it was docked here. So we just played and then got off, you know. Oh. But yeah, old people are doing that now. Instead of oh, retiring yeah. and going to a home, they live in a cruise ship. They yeah. live in a cruise ship, yeah. So they just buy like the the cruise, this part of the cruise and that part of the cruise and that right. part of the cruise. And I don't know if it. I could eat buffet for the rest of my life when I retire. <laughs> Every day, I'll be so sick. Yeah. <laughs> so, they, so in addition to the buffet, they have restaurants where you yeah, go, yeah. and it's it's all. Um, well, they let you go and eat there too. Yeah. No. Nice. So it's really like a like a paid vacation. I mean, mm. I look at it that way. Well, yeah. well, okay. So forty five minute show. Like, how much of it is um, talking and how much? I mean, you're well, how did you design it? What did you? Oh, yeah, put I mean, into? there's like a so. We incorporate like both instrumental and vocal songs. Um, Maya, who's been on your show, right? Right, right. Yeah, my sessions. Yeah, yeah. And then of course Honaka, they're both singers as well. Right. So we try to incorporate their vocals and then showcase that. But then we also have like trio type of instrumentals where we kind of bounce off each other, oh, which okay. is a lot of fun. So we try to make it dynamic, um, like a storyline. Mm. And then in between, we do dialogue. So there's a little bit of acting. We try to get the the audiences <laughs> um, involved. Deep and so we have these. Do you folks ad lib too sometimes? We, we do. Oh, I do at least, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then they give us these wireless instrument uh, mm. cables. Oh, nice. So we can go in t- into the audience. And oh, just, cool. Yeah, feed nice. off the energy. That's that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. got to be. I remember um, we went to see Celine Dion at the, the Caesars Palace when she had her thing there. And mm. then she had a violinist. And he ran into the crowd and was yeah. violin. And it was exciting. You know, it's, it's fun. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, but John, you should go on a cruise one time. I can't, man. I, I get sick. I get sick. Oh, just... wait. Dude, my wife gets seasick when you do this. <laughs> I'm not even joking. My and wife she got went... seasick on a surfboard and boffed. Yeah. Really? Yeah, but yeah. she handled the cruise. Yeah. The Alaska one is pretty mellow. Because once you get into the, once you get through the, like the open ocean and into the channel, there's yes. there's no waves to speak of. So you're just kind of motoring along. The only part that's weird is every so often you'll be going... Yeah, because the boat is kind of moving, right. Yeah. right? So, but I mean, it's not, it's not in that. It doesn't do this rocking thing, which is the part where you get sick. Because like I never, I never got sick at all, and I get, and I'm old now, so mm-hmm. I get yeah. seasick fairly quickly. Mm-hmm. So like, well, so we, that gets worse as you get old. Oh, dude, I I cannot ride certain rides. Like if you go to when I go to um when you, we went to Disneyland. Oh, you don't ride the teacup time. anymore. No. Oh, no. oh man. But like uh, oh, teacup, the, the roller yeah. coasters and stuff, the roller coasters and stuff, I can I can ride once, maybe twice. But when we went Knott's Berry, I had to stop because I I went on the third ride and normally I'm like all day, yeah. I went on the third one and went, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stop and just kind of hang out now because I can't, you you can't, I couldn't handle it. And yeah. so it was either Papa Dramamine or something or you know I had to do yeah. one of those. Huh. So I, I've never been a big ride person, so I don't. Uh, although I did, I did a journey to the center of the earth at mm. Disney Sea, Japan. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fun one. See. But it's only like eight seconds of actual ride. What? Yeah, journey. So journey to the center of the earth. You like you're going through the earth, right? Yeah. And then you're seeing monsters and stuff. It's like, yeah. oh, scary. And then, <laughs> and then this big monster comes up, and then it's just like, eight seconds, and boom, then the ride's over. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you go super fast. It but is. isn't it? A, it's on a gimbal. You're not on an actual ride, right? No, it's an actual ride. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Is it one of those like motion the screen? Yeah. No, where no, the no, screen is not. moving and you. Oh. The okay. Tower of Terror is a screen. Right. No, but that no, but the ride drops. It goes and it drops. No, th- this one you you go because you go through a tunnel and then you're like, at first it's pitch black and yeah. you're going like. Like space 100 miles kind. an hour and then you're outside and you're going 100 miles an hour and then you pitch back again and then the ride stops that's too okay. short 
Yeah. Interesting. It's it's pretty pretty short. Mm-hmm. But I get the I get the feeling it's actually like on a gimbal and it's got the thing. It's not on no a gimbal, idea. Dev. I swear to like, I swear to you. Like, Hold on, only eight seconds. It's real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is doing this, and the gimbal's doing that, and John's like, yeah. <laughs> no, man. No. <laughs> Even when. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you fly over California, that's <laughs> fake, you know. <laughs> I know. It's not real, you know. I know. Okay. Anyway. Uh, oh, wait. Then. I got to tell you a story about John. So we went to Ruga Market today, and I met one of his fans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Many fans, huh? no, I walk in, and this lady comes in. This woman comes in, and she goes, oh, I, I, I need directions, so, and my phone's not working, so I'm trying to help her. And then I go, John, do you know where this is? And she goes, wait a minute. <laughs> Are you a musician? And then I go, yeah, he." He's famous. And she goes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he goes, I got this John. He goes, oh, my God. You know, when you were in high school, I was in love with you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. John met his fan, you know, and all this kind of stuff. I mean, she was like 80 years old. But, I mean, <laughs> still. It's, a, it's my demographic. You still yeah. put a chick, John. All ladies love you, man. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. You are the safe date. Yep. Yeah. But, 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 I mean, hey. Hey, better than nothing. She don't know who I, I was. Y- y- you know. At least uh, uh, people so enjoy wait, the music. So it was just, oh my God, I loved you when you were in high school? Yeah, when you were in high school, I loved you. And okay. I was like, wow. But now, right you on, old bro. and. Uh, no, I, I think she still would. And then. You think she still would? <laughs> <laughs> so, Jody. Little Geritol, and she's good to go. <laughs> right on. <Okay. laughs> but John can poo chicks? <laughs> still get them. Nice. So I, I know that you were uh, uh, started ukulele Halle back in so with Jake right you started teaching back you were a student mm-hmm. at his school when he had his school back in two thousand mm. actually before that so Jake was teaching remember he lived in like Olokele yes out of his house out of his house that's right so and I want, actually I'm gonna tread back before that because. Okay. The reason I, I got really into ukulele was because... Uh, I, had to, I had to type it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, good job, huh? Good no, job. Good We're going to get back to it, so <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. Well, it was uh, Pure Heart. So, yeah, yeah, of course. So you guys actually came to Kaiser, remember? And you guys played? Of course, of course. Like, wow, what a dynamic trio. You know? And so, um, and then it was just a few months later, I, I think I reached out because I wanted, I was already taking at Roy Sakuma and then Peter Moon and Troy Fernandez, and I was like looking for wow, more. So dude. I was very, yeah, just really blessed to be able to have that mentorship and, and have those uh, legends, you know, teaching. Um, and so anyway, Jake said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I live down in by Kap- Kapuhulu side. Mm-hmm. Just come down. Started taking lessons. And I was in, it was in his apartment. Mm-hmm. Um, but back then, I was just so into it where I would go home and I would practice like eight hours a day, like straight. Wow, wow. Like just sweating in my room. My mom's like, time to come out. You know, I was like, no. <laughs> eat, boy. Yeah. <laughs> And so I was just so into it where um, I guess I was picking up the ukulele pretty quickly. And so during that time, Jake decided to open a school called Ukulele Academy in Hawaii Kai, mm-hmm. where Costco is now, the old Kaiser Permanente building. And uh, he's like, you know what? I'm going to open a school and I would love for you to uh, teach with me. Whoa. And so I was like, teach? You know, like, and so I was like, mm, yeah, maybe. And then it's right around that time where I met his brother, Bruce. Yeah. Uh, and so that's where I got my start teaching oh, and, okay. and fell in love with it. I was like, hey, you know what? I, I think I can do this. And, you know, I was in college planning to be an engineer. Just like, that's, that's not oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that went out the door. So what is it about um, the teaching part of it that, that drew you in? What was the thing that, that got you? Mm. I think it's, it's making the connections with the students mm-hmm. and just being a part of their journey to see where they start. And then, you know, even the struggles and, and seeing them overcome that. So... Um, I love that it's like that immediate satisfaction where you get to see uh, like your labor of love into your students and seeing them progress and f- fall in love with music and ukulele. But when so you're learning ukulele and um, playing in your room and stuff, you aren't going, well, someday I want to instruct and learn. No, <laughs> you, you definitely You want to be a musician and, and, and play, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, so I, I, yeah. What do you enjoy more? Mm, that's a tough question. Ooh. Um, as much as I love performing, I think I think teaching is my 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 true passion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. This is like Roy Sakuma, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he always talks about how he, you know he's a teacher and 
a business person. He's not really a performer. Mm. But you are a performer, though. You do, yeah. you do a good job yeah. on both. Thank you. I enjoy it. I really do. You're entertaining oh. to watch. Oh, <laughs> Mm-hmm. But but at the same time, I think uh, isn't it nice to have like the teaching to like kind of keep your base, and then mm-hmm. you can take these opportunities to go on your Disney cruise when you want. And For sure, yeah, it makes it makes it easier, right? I think building that team. So we have a, we have a really great team of instructors who are passionate about what they do, um, and and then it extends to the students and then their families, and mm-hmm. it just becomes this community. So that's really nice to have, and it allows me to be creative as well. You know, so whether it's performing, do- touring. Do you do the Royce Akuma based way of teaching or are you teaching um, standard notation and stuff? Because I, I know like, you know, Roy has his, his style, right? Mm-hmm, With mm-hmm. The, the big A is this and the little A is this and the dots mean that. But then like, uh, I know Jake Did is you really... you take ukulele from Royce Akuma? I, I used to go to Royce Akuma, oh. yeah, for a little oh, while, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Who's your teacher? Wendy. <laughs> of course. Oh, yeah, oh, Wendy yeah. Yeah. Wendy everybody, everybody had Wendy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wendy. Don't, yeah, don't, don't, say, don't say it like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had quite, crush, one, I had quite like the crush on her back yeah, right, in the day. Right, right. I think everybody did. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I just enjoyed going to... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have ukulele. Right on. And then, and then one, at one point she goes, uh, you know, John, I think you're, you know, you, you kind of advanced out of this one-on-one. You should go into the, with Lily. And I'm like... All right. <laughs> Please, don't let me leave. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> How can I suck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I regress. Wendy's, I regress. <laughs> Wendy's husband, Keith, is our good friend. Oh, yeah? yeah, yeah. College oh, days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keith, yeah. Keith is a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so so how do, you do, how do you do it? Like, what's your mentality or how do you say I'm a new person coming in? Mm-hmm. Do you just give me a bunch of sheet music or do we do scales or w- what is the typical starting point for a ukulele person yeah well we're, we're a smaller school so we like to keep it very uh, intimate so we have either private classes or small group classes and um and so we c- call it we we do follow the Roy Sikuma method where it's just very simple mm. we bypass the whole musical staff mm. but we do implement like music theory basic music theory uh we ha- you even have a stage in 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 our studio where they can practice performance oh, wow. on scale showmanship um and it's only like three inches <laughs> but it just gives them a different perspective because once they jump on that stage, it's like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. like yeah. all eyes on me, right? Yeah. So it prepares them for whether it's performances or ukulele contests. You know when you're teaching yeah. these new kids and stuff, like, do certain ones just kind of jump out even before they start while they're learning and you go, oh, this one's going to be special, you know? Definitely. I mean, they're, they're, yeah, there's some that just have that, they're, they're born with this gift of music. And so it's hard to teach um like energy you know like yeah. when you're on that stage you have to have some kind of energy or presence i think that that uh, might be like god given um it's something that you can work towards but there are kids that that kind of shine where they just have that natural ability to jump on stage and, and light up a, a, a crowd you know mm-hmm. and, yeah. and they love it they just love the attention having that all eyes on me um so th- i like i like brian <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brian is super talented and just kind of Tolentino, right? Oh, he just like he's amazingly gifted, just super talented. He knows exactly what note to play, when to play, it. and he just kind of sits there and just does his thing. The you go, yeah. damn. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what I also wanted to ask you was, um, you know, from each of the people that you learned, what was it specific? I mean, from Troy, mm-hmm. uh, from you know, from Jake, was it the s- style was it a certain kind of picking and what did you learn from like peter moon because yeah. i would think you'd just be scared right uh, most of the time <laughs> learning from him yeah all, all three very different ways yeah. of teaching um for peter moon it was interesting it was at his house in manoa uh-huh. and it was private lessons so i would literally sit in his dining dining room how old were like you a table like this i was in college oh okay and um so we didn't use any sheet music but he would just take out his ukulele and like, do like, these crazy riffs. And then he would say, okay, practice. Go, get go. <laughs> and he would go in the other room and go watch like <laughs> commercials or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Come back Seriously? 10 minutes later and be like, show me what you learned. And I'd be like, oh, I don't remember. You know? <laughs> yeah. So it was a different wow. method of teaching. But what kind of method is I that? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, I feel just like a, just a that $50 every hour uh, <laughs> method of, okay, here you go. This I mean, deep end, right? Yeah, it was really... I was frustrated. I was really challenged. I mean, it was challenging during yeah. that time, but 
as I look back now, it really forced me to to listen to the patterns, oh, the, uh-huh. the chord progression, right? The yeah, melody. you know, like you can start to hear things on the radio and be like, hey, I think uh, I can pick this can up. Pick it up uh-huh. Whereas like depending on sheet music all the time, and that's the way I learned. Was Here's sheet music. mostly tuning your ear then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's interesting. Yeah, you go out smoke, you know, cigarette, come back. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> no, 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 struggling. <laughs> so, uh, at what point did you reach with him where you said, okay, I, I think, I, I think I'm getting what you want me to do because you were young when you were doing this yeah so. i was back in college um i'd say a good year wow yeah and i, I felt like okay um that's like every week it, it was once a week yeah once Whew, a week. man i give you credit bro <laughs> that's crazy yeah because I mean, people so much- never changed in all the time yeah. right it was just like bro sink or swim yeah <laughs> see how talented i am can't go yeah <laughs> see what you can do yeah Wow, man. Yeah, I'm surprised that guy gave lessons. Uh, Peter? Yeah, this doesn't seem like the personality yeah. to want someone <laughs> in his house. Yeah. Yeah, that's... How did that happen? Yeah, how did you get the lessons? I... That's a good question. I think <laughs> I think a friend had recommended and said, hey, you know what? Um, I know somebody that's taking lessons with Peter. You should try to give him a call. Oh. And, and that's how it got connected. And So, it was, yeah. And it was right around the time where... Um, I just wanted to learn as much as I can mm. from different instructors. Mm. Was there a certain instructor that when you took lessons from you, you just starstruck? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, that's when like uh, the hut of Pure Heart, I think, was, right? And, mm. and so I remember like driving to like Jake and then your guys' music would be playing on the radio. Huh. Okay, I'm going to go see Jake now. <laughs> <for a lesson. laughs> yeah, it's so going to be kinda... weird. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. Jake and you are on the same age? I think he's, he's one or two years older. Maybe. One or two years he's one year older because... Okay. Uh, He's two years older than me, and you're one year older than me. Yeah. So. Oh, so math. So 21, okay. 22. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. So we're all, we're all about this. I, I've actually known Jody from when we were kids. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. I think it was soccer or baseball. Yeah. One of them. Well, baseball, because I remember we played um, tennis with our slippers <laughs> in the job <laughs> car. Remember that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And now Make he's a professional faster. pickleball guy. I you know. know. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, well actually, actually went a long way. <laughs> yeah. It's no, I didn't remember John because um, there was one night where we crashed over his house, and then you guys had just recarpeted your your house. Okay. And then um, this is after soccer or baseball, one of those. Okay. And then Santa Ball, right? I just remember you saying like, right before it, I like, close my eyes. You're like, dude, do you see those two ice? Like, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> There's like, like a ghost, or I don't know what it was. But then I couldn't sleep that night. <laughs> Were you lying? Good job, John. <laughs> Hey, you hear that you noise? <laughs> I don't know if I was messing with it. I don't remember that. We were kids, so I, I don't know if you even remember that. You were probably yeah, Did you ever that. stay over again after that? No. I, I <laughs> <laughs> don't go to the Yamasato's house. <laughs> hey, Jody, come over. <laughs> oh, no, I'm good, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go practice with the Lele my house. <laughs> oh, man, that's weird. Because I remember playing tennis with the slippers, slippers but you remember that ghost Wait, star. wait. Okay, hang on. So when you say you were playing tennis... With your slip, you were wearing slippers and playing no, no, tennis, no, 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 no. or you were just hitting the ball with hitting slippers. Hitting the ball with our slippers, yeah. Okay. See, so just for our guests, I want to make sure we make that clear, because when you say we were playing tennis with our slippers, <laughs> that's poor man ghetto tennis right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, couldn't afford rackets. Yeah. Well, back in those days, uh, when you played baseball, I, I just remember being excited about the game being over, because mm-hmm. then we would go play baseball with a tennis ball. Oh, on, yeah. on the tennis court, yeah, uh, you know, and that was more fun than actually playing baseball. Yeah, home run derby. Yeah, home run yeah. derby with the tennis ball and. Yeah, but who's yeah. gotta go shag the ball? That's awful. Well, well, you got guys out in outfield. I mean, you play like. Oh, you know? yeah, but you hit a tennis ball way farther than you're gonna yeah. hit it. Well, no, no. So we had these. So, uh, when you went to the UH games, they had these like small bats. They were maybe like eighteen inches. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But they're wooden. Yeah. And so that's what we would use for. That's like, hard uh, to hit. Yeah, when you have a so, small but you have a tennis like ball and a small bat, yeah. and then you'd play. And I just remember we'd always have to yell, like, don't throw the bat! Because <laughs> people would hit the ball and then throw the bat like how they would in yeah. baseball, right? But then uh-huh. the thing would break. Yeah. Oh, it'd break. Oh, concrete, right? <laughs> <sighs> good, I have good these time. funny stories. Like, Okay, so I even met, I, I met Kyle and, and John just randomly. And I don't know if you guys remember this. This is way back when, maybe okay. seven, eight years ago, maybe maybe more. Okay. But you guys were, <laughs> I was at Hawaii Kai Town Center. <laughs> And I pulled up, and then I just see you guys like walk in with uh, a metal detector. Oh my god! <laughs> that was you. What? That's what? Yeah, that was <laughs> what are you? Guys, what are you guys doing? That's right. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go city mail or something. I don't know something. Like that. 
We're gonna go like. It's the metal days. detector days. Oh no! Like, oh, this is like on a Tuesday, like a random weekday. <laughs> I called him up and I said, "Bro, you gotta go Costco." He goes, "Why?" I go, "I got a metal detector right there." <laughs> Yep. Oh, did it, did these two oh, monkeys they yeah. both walking around with metal detectors <laughs> picking up absolute shit on the ground <laughs> did you get anything no <laughs> we found bottle caps he, he found our pair of scissors <laughs> on a pair of scissors <laughs> yeah. he, you played that thing for like two months and you guys yeah, both gave up and I go we're not getting this, shit yeah. never mind but Nick called call me ball of mine last month <laughs> oh that's right yeah cause someone lost something right yeah his father-in-law lost a ring in oh. the garden he thought and then, so he borrowed mine. Did he so find I had to it? Dust it off, change the batteries and all that. But what was the best thing you guys found? It. Like um, scissors, a quarter. Scissors. <laughs> yeah, the scissors is probably the most exciting yeah. thing. Yeah, it was like it's it's big. Keep digging. Yeah, because it's like you know it's like super metal, right? Yeah. But I was like, hey man, we just saved some because it's in the on the beach. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, we just saved somebody. That, from yeah. That that is, yeah, yeah, John. It's it's saved somebody's oh, life. Yeah. Saved the turtle. That right was. There. Yeah. It's amazing, you guys. Yeah, yeah amazing. We are. Wow. Oh my God. That, I didn't we are true that. heroes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, metal detecting is. You, you know what's the funny funniest part about the whole story, is I go like. Hey, let's say, because we're, we're going, like, um, in places where nobody goes to the beach, you know? We're yeah. just kind of, like, testing it out. And I go, let's just go Sandy Beach. And Kyle's like, oh, bro, can I go Sandy Beach? <laughs> Why not? He's like, because got guys that metal detector, that's, like, their territory already. I'm territory. Like, well, we're going to get beaten up by the metal detector <laughs> guys. Like, you know, like, I, when I you learn for surf, surf you know, right, just right. go, hey, I bought it's my fun. surfboard. We go charge pipe. You gotta take it easy. <laughs> you gotta work it in there. You gotta, I'm like, you gotta work your way into the local oh. crowd, get accepted, and then yeah, you can go. Oh, he, he was, sad, right? Hierarchy. Yeah, yeah. yeah hierarchy, oh, right? Wow. I'm like, you're beating you know? up by an old guy with metal detector at Sandy Beach. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't go. He was scared to go. Yeah. So then I went Sherwoods with, with it. But then Sherwoods is just all tent. Tent poles. Tent pole and posts. beer caps. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, beer yeah. caps and tent so poles. So the whole time it's like, wee, yeah. 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 It's another tent. Tent. Piece, See, you know. this is one of those. This is one of those things that I was so glad that they never called to get me involved with. <laughs> so you were in the parking lot. You pulled us over. Yeah, oh. I think I just ran into John and then. Oh, yeah. cool. this is Kyle, and I was like, Oh yeah, yeah. I like, <laughs> this I was is like, Kyle. Holy <laughs> 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 it's my metal detecting <laughs> partner right here, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I learned because because Kyle and I were just like you know we always been friends but we never like hung out, hung out, yeah. and then so like I was like, Oh, I'm gonna hang out with Kyle. He seems cool and stuff. And so he that's when I cool. learned, like, don't listen to Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> because Kyle just comes up with all these yep. crazy ideas. Yep. Yep. Or he sends you pictures of stuff and goes, buy them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He tells you to buy things yep. or, hey, you should go do this. Yeah, hey, hey. Kevin, you should I'm buy just this. trying to make you guys' lives more fun. All right, you sent me a picture of the Pac-Man uh, video game at Costco. Oh, they oh, have yeah. a... Yeah, yeah, yeah just that. randomly I, I get a picture. Like, what yeah, that was so nice. Dude, oh, that, that thing is cool, bro. <laughs> Why are you sending me pictures? How much is it? Because you like, like video games? Bucks. <laughs> That's it? Like a full cabinet and everything? Yeah, like uh, it's, like a, it's a half cabinet. It's well, a half cabinet. Oh, you let go after this. <laughs> no, I was thinking if, if they ever made a, a Street Fighter one, yeah. oh, I, I would they buy have it. Ooh. They have one. Yeah, but yeah. it's a little bit too expensive oh. for me. I think it's like three grand. Wow. Oh, no, no. This one is like 500 bucks. Yeah. You, you only a do. Street Fighter one? Yeah. yeah. A cabinet size yeah. one? Bro, you only live once, man. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, oh. it could be perfect out in the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey. yeah. Right? Just saying. Yeah. Stacy won't mind. No, not at all. Dude, we just came back from Japan. She did some damage up there. <laughs> there you go. You deserve this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's put that out in public. The only thing um, I bought was I bought a little bit of food for myself, and then dude, I where's my it, thing? I forgot it. <laughs> I bought him a Ultraman doll. Yeah, I know. Which he still has not given me. Oh, or you get it. Nobody else uh, wants that. This is true. It's a good point. <laughs> yeah. But they also have a, 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 what is it? A pinball, electronic pinball. I know. I saw the Star Wars one. Yeah. 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 Did you get that? No. Oh. Pinball's I good. I want to buy that battery set thing. Oh. I was telling you about. You know, uh, when we were in Japan, I went to an arcade with uh, my son. And, you know, like half the games, you can't understand what's going on because it's in Japanese yeah. or whatever. But pinball. That's universal. Mm-hmm. Yes. So yep. we were playing some pinball up there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good fun. So Jody, you're you're affiliated with Kanila uh, Ukulele, mm-hmm. and uh, have you always played Kanila? No. So actually, um, I, I I've had different. My first one was a Kamaka. Okay. And uh, I remember I was young, but I ended up 
selling it at a garage oh. uh, garage sale. Yeah. Oh. That was probably oh. my biggest regret. Yeah, yeah you never wow. saw. You never I know, sell. never. And I Wait, told my was students it that little soprano. Yeah, it was a little out? soprano. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, oh man, that's not, that's not too bad. yeah. Um, and then I had a cool wall. <laughs> Let's remind him of that over and over again. <laughs> 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 Let's make him sick. Again. Hold on to your ukulele. Oh, I can't believe yes. you did that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So cola, uh, okay. G string, Derek Shizu. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he built Derek. a custom one. Um, yeah, and then Kanilia. So. Were you G string when he was in his garage in Kamiki, or was he already in? Halava? He was in Halava. Halava. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. But he he actually made my first one, first custom. Oh, okay. And it was, it was beautiful. I mean, yeah, he was flame core. Oh, super gifted. Yeah. And uh, he's like, yeah, Jody, I'll build you a ukulele, you know? And so it was right around the time where I started performing and teaching. And so, uh, yeah. But just blessed to be able to connect with different factories. And, and so what I play now is a Connie Leo. And I have a custom. And uh, do you have Joe a, and Kristen, I, I actually brought, yeah. I have Can one you there. crack it open? Yeah, for sure. How many ukuleles okay. do you have, man? You know, I, I'd say maybe a dozen, which is not much. Oh, well, I mean, it's not bad. Not much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, yeah. had 13, though. Time. You have 13? You? No, he would have had 13 if he did. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remind him of that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, look, John. Oh. See? Arcade up. Capcom Street Fighter 2. Oh. Look at that, bro. You got to get that. Oh. Which is it's oh, only that's $400. Mm-hmm. Wait, where's that at? Costco? Best Buy, Costco. Uh, Did you buy one? Walmart? No. I bought one with Rampage and Joust and stuff on it. Ooh. I want one with Mooncrest though. If I can find one with Mooncrest, that would be amazing. Do you think they'll deliver it? I don't know. Well, I think this is you gotta it's set it up. Yeah, you gotta, oh, set, you gotta it. set it up. Yeah. Man, I am. But it's easy to f- it's easy to put together. You gotta go grab on my truck today. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, I have an appointment at four. That's why I'm wearing my shirt back. So I cannot. But oh. hey, wow. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I don't have any. Wow. Tomorrow. You're me tomorrow. I'm, I've actually, we've <laughs> actually got them. Yeah. Yeah, Best Buy and Walmart's serious. got them too. We can stick it either in that corner there or just or, or, or out, out in the thing. So yeah, when people yeah. come over, instead of the uh, drum set, they can play on the Street Fighter. There you go. I oh. thought the deal was the there it drum. Is. So. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Oh, nice. oh you, you worked that thing too, man. Yeah, That's I did. The one area. Oh, one yeah. How many years have that one? This is maybe five or six years. So this is Kanilea Ukulele's 20th anniversary, Ola Kaena Ukulele. Dude, that thing is worth like thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah. This is a beauty. Um, and so they actually presented it to all their artists. Oh, oh nice. It was cool because we were at their um, performance for their 20th anniversary. Mm-hmm. And we we're on stage. And then they handed us these ukuleles to perform with. So I thought we were just going to play. And after the song, we got off stage. And they're like, you know, that's for you to keep. Oh, oh wow. Wow. So, wow. So very special. That's cool. Yeah. So that one is your um, go-to one on stage? Too? Um, no, this you one's more it, for yeah. teaching. Yeah, this yeah. one doesn't have a pickup. Yeah. But I, I have another one that was a custom made, and and that one I used to perform with. Yeah. Now let me. I, I don't know if you you know this. I, I have a feeling Jake, Jake would go all nerd on me with this. But you have pegs mm-hmm. versus just lining it through the saddle bridge mm-hmm. what is it this is the saddle that's the bridge that's the bridge this is a bridge. That's the bridge. Yeah. bridge bridge okay. yeah. instead of like some people you f- you like line it like a fishing thing yeah. through mm-hmm. the tie. right tie. is there a difference for pe- peg versus lining it through well, I think peg, peg usually has the the stopper on the strings itself right that little round how, um, did, how did you do that With so yeah so this one I, I do tie it to the peg and then i or actually i tie a knot and then i th- thread it through yeah. yeah um so the pegs apparently for like a, a engineering standpoint it's supposed to be more uh, stable um mm. so it oh, doesn't really? pull on the the top part oh um, i see so so they do all their conileos like this where they have the pegs oh okay um but yeah it, sh- it takes a little bit more time to change the strings and sometimes they'll pop up you know? yeah oh, that's what yeah. i'm yeah. that's what i'd be afraid of mm. but so even so with the guitars that i have it does that just it kind pops. Of pops up sometimes, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's why all my guitars, I, I have the one you just string it through because I'm lazy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want the thing popping off because then I'm going to be like, what do I do? Yeah. You know, it's on true. stage or something. Yeah. Wait, you guys are going to play music, right? Since he brought his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But we got about 10 minutes left okay. for questions. Did we do, the last time he was here, we did the music one, right? The mm-hmm. album? No. Nope. Didn't we do the album no, question? No. This is his first, first time, time here. here. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. You know what? You see on the performance upstairs. Maybe high sessions. High oh, sessions. Yes. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Jody was actually on our first artist ever on high sessions. 
Oh, yeah, it's really? crazy. Yeah. 12 years ago. Wow. No. That was upstairs yeah. then? That was upstairs. Yeah, 12 yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah. And you guys had the same um, rug. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that rug. That, everyone's like, oh, where did you get the rug? I'm like, I just went to like Costco or something. I bought a rug. Because <laughs> I'm like, we need a rug. So, so like, there's no special specialness about it. Yeah. Has but, it, I mean, so many artists have. But now it's special. Now it's. Because everyone's been on it, you know? Do you guys ever get but, that cleaned or is that just. No, no, <laughs> that, <laughs> that <laughs> It's That's never a been good cleaned. question. You can't wash off the mud on it. That's why yeah. I uh, skip past that question. When Maya came on the show, she's like, oh my God, it's the rug. I got to lie down on it. And she's lying. I'm like, <laughs> uh, that's a good idea. But okay. Okay. You're gonna take a shower, right? When you get yeah. home. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But who would have known? Like, look how far you guys have come yeah. since then. Yeah. So yeah. It's amazing how many yeah. artists and. Well, well, we appreciate and you. And in being some one ways, we're first. still in the same place. Yeah. 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 In some ways. Yeah. 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 So. But uh, yeah, because when we first saw, I'm like, who could I get to come here? Who, if we screw this up, is not gonna get mad. <laughs> And so that's why Jody's like, oh, okay. Because I'm like, I know if uh, Jody came and I said, hey, you know, Jody, the videos just did not work. It didn't come out. Mm. He'd be like, oh, okay, John, I understand. Mm. But I, I felt like if I asked Robert Casimero. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't. You know. I, I mean, not that he's a mean guy or anything, no. but I just would have. You know, I don't, I don't have that kind of relationship with him. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah true. You can, so. you can totally waste Jody's time and it's fine. <laughs> no, yeah, Because yeah, well. <laughs> we used to play slipper tennis. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't slept over your house when you were kids? Yeah. Kids he told me about yeah, the eyes yeah. thing. The he owes you for the eyes yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 Any, any plans of going to Japan again um, soon? You know, so I, I started a sister city in Japan where we, yeah. uh, I, I have a youth leadership team. And it's, these are kids that are hand selected by myself who kind of oh. embody the low spirit, who are positive. Uh, great mentors, future leaders of tomorrow. And so, uh, anyway, we uh, were able to connect with Kanazawa, Japan, and I was able to partner with Hawaii Tourism Japan where they support our vision. And we just want to connect our city, you know, connect Hawaii with the rest of the world. So, um, right pre COVID, we were able to actually start this uh, conversation through Zoom or, or Skype back then and just teach each other about the culture, the history, the language. We even wrote a song together. And then mm. I, brought, I brought the entire team to Japan. And um, it was really special. We got to actually be on that stage in Kanazawa for the Ukulele Paina event and perform together. Wow. So I'm hoping to, to, do, to expand more throughout Japan, whether it's Okinawa to, to Hokkaido, um, Osaka, Kyushu, um, and then the rest of the world. Do, do you feel like... Because... Cool. Um, the pandemic really slowed things down, mm -hmm. you know, and um, Herb and I were up there in May and uh, people are starting to come back, but it's definitely not pre-pandemic level. Mm -hmm. But are people starting to reach back out to you and start going, hey, you know, maybe we should do things again. I mean, it's a little different in Japan now because the the currency exchange mm -hmm. has changed so much right. in the last few years, too. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Like, uh, you know, a one dollar is like 140 yen now or something like that. So almost 150 yeah yeah 150 it's really weak yeah. like joke stuff now yeah yeah but kind of stuff oh, anything yeah. you want there oh yeah yeah no no the exchange rate is it's it's almost as high as it's ever been yeah mm -hmm. really yeah so every dollar is like a dollar half that's there. why they can't afford to come here for vacation yeah. right now. yeah oh so yeah for so for them everything is super expensive and for us it's versus it's back when the dollar was weaker right that's yeah. when everyone's coming here and buying like yeah. you know high-end stuff cause so the question yeah. is yeah do you go buy yen yeah yes yeah, well, yeah that was a good we, time, we, we did already yeah yeah so so when we went on our trip just just yeah. uh last week or the week before yeah it was it's great because like uh you know i was doing uber because i'm too cheap well no Lazy? no I'm too lazy to get on the train. Like, <laughs> Which word do you want us to use for this? <laughs> yeah, so I was, just, I was just taxing it everywhere, but it's so cheap. Uh, mm. Because okay. the exchange rate's so good. I'd rather catch an Uber in Japan than catch a train, too. Yeah. Why? Gym I don't know. I don't, wanna, I, I don't want to be pushed in and pushed <laughs> out. Oh, that. Well, you're not going at, like, peak time, right? Yeah, but uh, Uber is air-conditioned and just you inside there with your family. I could deal with that better. <laughs> you, you know what's great? Because... So there, you know, you can always just get a taxi, yeah. right? And wave one down. But the Uber app, like you just hit the button and you, you you're already plugging where you want to go, right? Into the app before mm -hmm. the guy comes gets you. So you need to speak to him. Yeah. So like the the car just pulls right up to you wherever you are, 
and you just get in and it, they just start driving to wherever so you don't have to explain like oh can you drop me off here whatever it's all in the app already and there's no money exchange either it's yeah and it's all like done. credit cards so it's just all yeah. done but then um, so the idea is to speak to as little people as possible <laughs> yet <laughs> still go through Japan and enjoy Japan yeah. is that the deal like, it's John's deal well, what did you want to see I don't know get on the train and I still talk to the guy the- Oh, no, but, uh, no, but know, I mean, what? like this guy, he's like, oh, let me get on the train. I'm like, but part of the deal with Japan is getting on the train and, right? And riding and going to these different stuff. I don't want to get lost. Yeah, that's my fear. Mm. Everything's like, got colors. We went from, um, I had to meet some friends. We were in uh, Shin, Shino, Shinokubo and we had to go to Shibuya. And then like, so I go with Asa and it's only he and I, right? He's pretty skeptical that we're even going to get there. <laughs> And I'm like, no, I can handle this. Looking at the train lines going, hmm. I see Shibuya there. So if we're going that way, so I'm just saying. Now everything's kind of like, train's going that way. That's where the thing is. Go- okay. But then after Shibuya, it turned into an express. Oh. And so I'm and then like, you're on the train. So I was like, okay, so we have to get off <laughs> on the Shibuya stop. And then what happened was, I guess, right at the Shibuya stop is a turn. So the train stopped and then another train had to, kind of like they pass and then they move and then they but but the, they stopped and the doors weren't opening at shibuya and i'm like oh my god did <laughs> does it mean that the express means like it's just gonna go through shibuya and then i'm gonna be in like the boonies after this <laughs> yeah you're stuck but, there man so i was kind of panicking for a <laughs> yeah. second yeah see i don't like well, that feeling did you get off at yeah, shibuya? yeah yeah it moved a little bit more and then the doors opened and we could get off see it worked but, out but for a while i was like oh man i think i <laughs> I oh man, I got so I got to look at my son and go. Yeah, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Got us lost. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, son. <laughs> well, we made it. It's okay. No. I, I mean, like you're on the Yamanote line down. I'm, I'm totally fine because it just goes in a big circle. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, you, you miss your stop. You just get off. You get on the other one. You just go the other direction. But that was, I mean, that and that to me, I don't know. That's the part of Japan that's kind of that's the cool thing is you get off and jump on that train, and, right? Well. I mean, I've been on the train when it's rush hour and they're shoving you in the train and yeah. you've got yeah, I don't, like I don't really mind that. there's some dude who hasn't bathed and he's the guy right in I front of like you. I don't like that, bro. Well, I didn't enjoy that either, but I'm just saying. Mm. You know, then you can say you went to Japan and experienced everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know you had that much of a connection with that city, Kanagawa. Kanazawa, yeah. Oh, Kanazawa. And it's kind of recent, pre-COVID, so 2019. Yeah. Yeah, so we were there actually invited as, as guests to perform and then not realizing that there's this huge ukulele community there. Like oh. All the kids were playing ukulele. Oh, yeah. Wow. And it was amazing. Like hundreds of kids. Wow. Yeah. It's a big deal. So, yeah. They really embrace the culture in they love Japan, right? Yeah. yeah. From hula to yeah. ukulele to everything. Yeah. And I got to say, I think Jake was a big influence uh, with ukulele. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. As far as connecting Hawaii and Japan. And yeah. Opening that door. He's probably bigger there, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. Well, Do you want to have him? Because otherwise, they're gonna mistake you for him. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can see that happening, no. bro. You walk out with your ukulele, and they're like, Jake. <laughs> Jeez, man. I, I get Paul Ugata. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> <laughs> I've never met. Tell us a joke. <laughs> yeah. It's a stand-up comedian. Be funny. Be funny. <laughs> that's great. Mm. Paul Ugata. Okay, okay, awesome. okay. We're, we're at we're at this point of it, so I can I can bust well, now this you can uh, ask question. question. Okay. okay. Sorry, I jumped So, Jody, around. this part of the show. <laughs> if you were stranded on a desert island for the rest of eternity mm. and could only take three albums with you to listen mm. to for the which rest of time. Which albums do you take? Wh- which <laughs> albums would you take? Ooh. I know you said you could listen to Rap Rep and Yep. Over and over what again. Did you say? That's a tough question. You said Rap Rep and I know. I know, yeah. My tongue got in the way. But <laughs> okay. Rap Rep and That's a great question. Three albums that I could take. Yeah. Um, hmm. Okay, I would say Kyle Crater Boys. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and wait. Uh, and that like the best of? Or the best of? No, best of. Well, we don't know. Oh, we don't know. Oh, oh, best of. Oh, okay. Cheating. Yeah. So the, the, you don't write that that one. Valley Style. Valley, Valley Style. Valley Style? Yeah. Okay. okay. I go Pure Heart. Oh, oh man. Okay. Pure, and I'm not one, just saying that because John Thanks, man. Uh, Christmas I'd one? Say, I'd say the first one. I gotta be the first one. Everybody likes it. I like the second one as well. You know, I had this epiphany last night because we have six new songs recorded. And I, I keep, li- and so I played it for Kusumoto earlier, and he was saying, you know, it sounds, it sounds like a John Yamasato production. Like it doesn't sound like pure heart. Mm-hmm. And then I was kind of listening to it last night, 
I feel like um, it's too like uh, so everybody likes the first album, right? More more than the second one. Although a lot of people are like, how can I get over? But the second album was really polished, and it, it just sounds more round. Mm-hmm. But I think everyone just likes the first one because it just sounds like three guys playing in their mm-hmm. living room. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, very raw. Yeah, and yeah. and I think part of it is the bass is so full in in these new ones. That's why it sounds because on it the first song like pure heart with yeah, bass. Yeah. Well, on the first album, we used my three hundred dollar like cred credy bass that was just in my house that we used to call oh. Tubby because mm. it didn't have any tone to it. It's just like bleh bleh <laughs> bleh bleh when you when you. <laughs> But that's all we had, you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I, yeah. We used that, and it, so it, it doesn't have a. So I think who you know, played it though? I did. So you you played your guitar then? Yeah, then I over went with the bass. But I, I feel like um, because of that, it does have a little bit of a low sound. But then because there's not this full low end, it just is a happy sound because it's very high endy and mm-hmm. ukulele, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm gonna ask Mike to mix the new stuff and kind of pull the bass back. And mm. make it sound get more that original sound. Yeah, mm. to try to make mm. it sound. Mm. Do you want to bring Tubby in and have Mike? <laughs> Tubby? I don't have Tubby anymore. I don't oh. even know what happened to Tubby. Oh. But wow, yeah, how do you get rid of something that actually has a name? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep that. I, I, you know, it's like a name like Tubby. I know. Like my, I, mean, Tubby, Tubby, I guarantee it's like my other bass that Blaina Singh currently has, where it's like someone's like, "Can I borrow your bass?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." And then. You just never I, get it I back. just never get it. Okay. Somebody out there went, what the hell is this sound? It sounds so tubby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not thinking I'm blaming saying. I mean, he would give it back to me if I asked for it. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. mean, it's just one of those things. Bro, I'm stealing his bass. What's up? <laughs> I lent it out, and then next thing you know, it's like 10 years later, I'm like, That's oh my hilarious. God. Like Aaron Kumura, I had my electric guitar for like 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, one day he's like, bro, I got to bring this back to you. I'm like, Right. Uh, has like he brought it back? Yeah, he gave oh, it back. Okay, almost okay. 20, maybe 15 years, Sean now had his drum set at my house. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. See, like stuff like yeah. that happens. Just happens. <laughs> he finally called me and he go, hey, can I get my drum set back? I go, what? It's been waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> for okay, wait. We, we didn't okay, get a third yeah, album. So, so, yeah. so third album. Uh, third album. I'd say CNK. First one? Uh, Sunflower. So the one that's uh, in there. Yeah. So that's the first one, yeah. yeah. Is that the first one? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Aloha shirt. Yep. You're a pure local... Yeah, yeah, oh, local yeah. music. No, no, uh, Dre or oh, you know what's crazy is um, I learned this the other day too. So Drake learned a lot this week. Yeah, yeah I have a lot. I have a lot. Of stuff. <laughs> the the artist Drake. Yeah, he used a sample of No Hey Cipriano. Yeah, I should live without you. Yeah, how yeah. How, I wonder how that like. I don't know. Wait, in his recent recording That's on this brand new album. Yeah, the guy apparently the guy who either produced it or. Played an instrument on it. Living without you. Yeah. Living yeah. without you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I he wrote the. Right. Apparently he wrote the song and then uh, Drake found that sample and used the sample for Living Without. But granted, I listened to it. What? I, you wouldn't even like. No. It's so f- like it's mixed buried. in with everything. Mm. Like yeah. You, you, but I mean, just it's just. But it's cool. there. Yeah, it's and there. And they paid for it. Yeah, and the, I wonder how much. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and it's just kind of cool, right? I mean. It's like, oh, yeah, I was yeah, on that cool. Drake. I was on that Drake cool, track. <laughs> yeah. You know, like the, the music that you chose is very old compared mm-hmm. to your age. Yeah. How did you get introduced to that music? What are you talking about? That's a great. <laughs> well, no, like CNK and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Just clumped in pure heart. Did your, did your yeah. parents play? Yeah, so you? my dad was in a band. He was in a, in a rock, surf rock band called the Morticians. Oh, oh wow. wow. And he played lead yeah. guitar. And so he introduced me to like the 1950s, 1960s. Um, and I think that's why I really pulled to Kyle Crater Boys and Pure Heart because they, oh, they take cool. a lot of like the Richie oh, Valens yes. and yeah, yeah. 19s, you know. And so I, I grew up listening to those music and, and it was yeah, nice to too. hear you guys revamp that and put your own style and twist to it. Yeah. Hey, baby. Yeah, so, yeah. So one of the songs Kyle asked us to re record is High Life from uh, St- the High Life again, Steve Winwood song. Mm. Mm. And then so I was playing it at the studio. We had um, Kala A. Camarillo and um, Kingsley came in to help me oh. sing some backup on another song so we're playing them that song they're like well you wrote that song i'm like it's a steve winwood song they're like who's steve winwood i'm like oh <laughs> my God. so like we're, mike and i are pulling up steve winwood yeah. videos like, oh he's like, so amazing man yeah roll yeah. with it you never heard roll with it but no i, I told john can you do back in the high life because mm. yeah i could use that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, so we did mm. yeah oh, question well, for you real quick sorry yeah. no when, when is uh pure heart gonna release uh 
your album or oh EP yeah I, I or don't single. Know. okay so so he just talked about remixing it so Remi- like, okay dude okay so it's not a year uh, it's gonna no, no, be no, no, like no. yeah okay. so what i decided was we have six songs we're just gonna release the six songs already because it's been three years and that's that's all we could get done <laughs> but a uh, certain artist who rhymes with rake <laughs> bima mukuro uh, <laughs> needs to come in and finish his he has two parts left yeah come on that's rake it. so that's whenever cool, he rake. i kind of text him every once in a while like uh hey just a reminder when you have time you know you can go to the studio finish the part. but yeah so far yeah not yet but is once that's done we're just gonna do it is he uh I, I don't know should we text him now like each of us text him from our phone <laughs> say hey we're on the pod and can we just uh in a studio rake yeah yeah so so it's, it's all so in his hands everything else is done wow wow so it's just wait like let's just scene. let's call out break now <laughs> on the pod so this would be fun yeah so if you want to if, you, if you bump into him go hey can you finish your pure heart yeah. so, so, so there you go yeah Rake. Uh, finish <laughs> on, Rake. parts please break say, say we, it we nicely appreciate it. He, he knows okay grab your ukulele yeah, let's, let's play something okay, before we go Okay. Need a pick? Uh, no, we're good. Oh, okay. I'm glad you have a tuner Thanks. because our tuner has seemed to grow legs as many things do down here. Yeah. You, know, you want to? Yeah. All the things to be taken from here. Yeah, tuner. So That's I, I, really strange. I was like, oh, I gotta order one, you know, from Amazon or something, but I keep forgetting. We gotta get more guitars too. We ran out already. Uh, yeah, what are you doing that, by the way? I was thinking, because. Dude, I, I tried to get. We were we were trying to do a live stream this. Uh, but I couldn't get anybody to do it. I was trying to get Justin to do the live stream, but his schedule was so tight when he came in. Did he leave already? I think he left already. So um, yeah. So I just we're gonna we're gonna make it to the end of the year with those guitars. That's we are? I don't know, man. There's no oh, space on it. The, you're going to snip off the thing, the strings, and have people <laughs> sign over there? We're going to do it. Okay. Yeah, nice little baby tailors, though. Yeah. 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 Okay. You're going to have to sign small. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try try give me a... a okay, I need to give you some... Oh, oh that's actually loud. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do the wipeout? Like, like oh, is that what we're doing? Alright, yeah. do drums? Well, yeah, do the drums. Hey, alright. Yeah. Hey, Carl, you gotta do bird calls. Yeah. <laughs> 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 alright, okay, okay, okay. Short version. So, yeah, whatever you want to do, man. Like, let's right. just, just enjoy ourselves and then, uh, and then we'll, we'll have So thank, thanks everybody for, uh, for tuning in. We'll thank see you, you all next thank week. You. Thank you to our right. guests in the studio as well. Oh yeah, we have, we have secret guests in the studio. Ooh. Who came down to visit us, so thank you for being here. They were here for a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> that I was also at. <laughs> yeah. You, you start, because i got to okay. kind of adjust some of these okay. levels. One, two, one, two, three.
Thanks, Cody. Right. Thanks for coming right. in, man. Appreciate Thanks for having it. me. Mahalo. Yep. Cheers.